Okay, recently I reviewed AVG Antivirus for Mac, the free antivirus version of their software for Mac. This is the Windows one, and it's not the free version. This is the full AVG Internet Security, which has more features and more options, and it's for Windows, and it's not available on Mac. So if you're a Mac user or no Mac user, maybe check out the other video. But this is Internet Security on Windows. A similar interface to most of their programs. You can view them on Facebook here. Number of reports, support, and options. Let's take a look at options first. You can scan computer, scan a, there's a particular selected file or folder from here. We can update the program and the virus definitions. We can look at advanced settings, firewall settings, visit various parts of their website, deactivate registered program, view your account or about. Now, as we see from about, it's the latest version at the time of making this review. It's version 16.51. And a few other information here. You can also look at licensing support and various other bits and bobs here. It is classed as the 2016 version. AVG is an antivirus company that's been around since the early 90s. They're very well known. And one thing I like about AVG on Windows is I previously, when I, I'm mainly a Mac user now, this is my brother's computer. But when I previously used Windows computers, what I found is if I installed an antivirus or internet security suite by another company, I won't name them in this review, but they begin with N. So if you know antivirus programs, you know who I'm talking about. That program tended to slow down the computer quite a bit. And then if you went to uninstall it to install another antivirus program instead, you'd it would corrupt your system and you'd need to reinstall Windows. That's what I always found with them anyway, personally. I haven't had that with AVG. AVG, out of interest, stands for Antivirus Guard, and it became shortened to AVG. Okay, we can see what protection we've got here. It says you're protected, your computer is protected, you're protected on the internet, your identity should be protected, your email, and your firewall is active. It does have its own firewall that should play nicely along with the Windows built-in firewall. Let's just click that. As you can see from here, you have firewall mode automatic. We can change it. From automatic to interactive to block internet access altogether, disable firewall protection not recommended, of course. I would leave on automatic. Now, file and printer sharing is disabled by default. So if you're trying to do Windows network and or network uh, with, a, say, a Mac computer and to share files, you might find you're not able to do it. You're not able to see the other computer or vice versa. Well, I had that problem when my brother wanted to share a file with me across the network. He couldn't do it, and we looked and looked, and in the end we thought, well, we'll check in AVG, because we completely forgot about AVG being running in the background. And uh, we found that this was disabled, so we hit change. It'll ask you to allow, and there we are, it's now disabled. Click it again, allow, enabled. So. By default, this may be off, so if you're having problems with your home networking, check this setting and make sure it's enabled and it's ingrained. And it says what network you're connected to. You can reset to default from here as well. Computer. We can see our antivirus, our antivirus part of our program is turned on. We have a data safe. Start using your safe. Create a safe. That is to help encrypt and password protect any files you want to prevent people from or maybe on your network or whatever seeing. You can create a password protected safe. I haven't really used that, but it's a handy little feature if you need it. We then have web. We have a link scanner to scan links and online shield here. As you can see, scans files before they're downloaded to better protect you. Scans web links to protect you from harmful websites. Uh, this here, I have them both on and I haven't had any problem. My brother hasn't had any problem. But if you do run into problems, maybe downloading and downloads fail or anything, maybe turn this off and see if that's a problem. I haven't had that problem, but just in case you do. Identity, identity protection, analyzes a software's behavior to determine whether it's safe or not. Email protection, email scanner enabled, detects harmful email attachments. Anti-spam, helps keep spam... Uh, it helps detect spam and cleans up your inbox. Then we have firewall. We then can scan from here, and it, if you hover over scan now, it will say when the last scan was performed. We can hit scan options. We can schedule scans, so maybe you know that, say, from, I don't know, 11 p.m. till 
one uh, twelve thirty, one o'clock or something, you always leave your computer and watch a movie or whatever. Maybe that would be a good time to schedule a scan. You can scan the whole computer from here. Scan a specific uh, folder or file, and anti uh, rootkit scan here as well. And they have various options. We have fixed performance. Now, if we click that, we have a PC analyzer. PC analyzer is now analyzing your PC, so it's checking for any registry errors, reduces uh, system stability. And it says here there's 140 errors found. We can view details. Then it checks for any junk files to help free up disk space. It reckons there's a few there. Fragmentation checks how uh, if your hard drive needs defragging. If you use an SSD like my brother is because he's got a fancy gaming computer, then you don't really need to defrag much. SSDs work in a different way from regular hard drives. Then it checks for any broken shortcuts on your desktop. As you can see, there's no desktop icons. That is because I'm just hiding all his programs, you know, and making uh, both pro for his privacy, not that, not that there's anything weird or anything, but also uh, to clean up the desktop while I'm making this review. So I've right clicked on the desktop, gone to view and untick show desktop icons. If I click this again, the icons will appear. So there is icons on the desktop and it will check them in a minute. You just have to wait a minute. It doesn't actually take too long, at least not on his computer. It checked the registry errors and junk files pretty quickly and found them very quickly. You also have this nice little gauge here to show you how bad the problem is. If it, is it minor, which the broken shortcuts is because it's found none. Not fragmented, so it's in grain. If there's a little bit of a problem, it'll be in this sort of yellowy grain. If it's more severe will be orange and very severe will be red of course then you can hit fix now uh, you can download the new avg pc tune-up to fix errors uh, once for free or purchase for 12 months so you this is a separate program tune-up because internet security isn't about tuning up your computer so of course that would be separate so that is something we need to bear in mind here the pc tune-up is not included with internet security we then have protection is up to date. This is basically for your virus and malware definitions. Oh, and then as you see, I actually found some. And it says post update memory has be been started and it tells you that it's up to date here with a little notification. So it does automatically check for updates at least once a day. So if you forget to check it, don't worry, it will do it itself in the background. But if you want to, you can launch this program, launch the interface and click here and manually check however often you want. As you can see, it was already up to date and it's done some post update memory scan, no threats found. You could review, uh, view the results if there were any as well. We can click out of that. Now let's have a look back under here for what else we've got well we can check for updates from here we can perform a scan as i mentioned before we can view the virus fort which is basically quarantine we have a look at advanced settings i'm not going to go into every single setting there's a lot here because if you look at the mac antivirus there's not really many options but this has absolutely tons you can really sort of customize it to your liking including appearance which is things like how you want the program to handle notifications, do you want notifications at, at all, and if you do, how many do you want, what for, so just update notifications. We have sounds, we have audio feedback, such as update started, do you want it to make a bing noise or whatever, and temporarily disable protection if maybe you've got a problem, maybe you're trying to install a program and the antivirus uh, internet security just isn't allowing you for whatever crazy reason. You, maybe you've got some sort of problem like that. I haven't had that, but if you do, you can disable it from here temporarily. Do whatever you need to do, then enable it again. We then have computer protection. We need to look at sub menus here. We have antivirus, so enable resident shield. I would leave most of these things on default, to be honest. And various other categories here for root kit settings do you want to perform a full scan or is that taking you too long in which case you might want to change it to quick scan but by default it is on full scan cache server here we have email protection options here uh, various options for the email scanner and spam scanner web browsing protection we have 
link scanner here. We have an online shield with various settings here, various pop-up settings. Identity protection, not a lot here. Then we have various settings for the scanner, such as for scanning the whole computer. We can tell it what we want it to do and what we want it to uh, report back, uh, etc. There's various settings here and you have lots and lots. We also have our various options here to schedule things like schedule a scan, schedule definition update, uh, schedule an anti-spam update. Then we have update options here such as require confirmation from the user, restart immediately, complete at next restart, various options here, tons and tons. We have proxy. If you're behind a proxy for your internet, you can set it up here. I don't use a proxy, so I leave it at default, don't use proxy. But if you're behind a proxy, you can use a proxy or use proxy only if it fails to connect directly, which is a handy little option there, I think. We then have exceptions. So say we've had a problem and it looks like maybe it tried to block Red Faction uh, video game before for my brother. So he has added it to exceptions here. This is where you do it. You also get a pop-up saying allow or add to exceptions initially anyway. And if you need to, you can go to here under preferences, add it, edit it, remove or remove all. We have the virus vault here, limit virus vault file size, a few other options such as automatic file deletion there. We have self-protection, enable, disable, privacy preferences such as do you want to send feedback, anonymous feedback to AVG so they know how you're using, how you're using the program but it is anonymous and it might help them improve the program in the future. So I like to leave it on but some people don't like that. They, don't, they think it's a bit too you know, sort of snooping into their privacy or whatever. Well, if you feel that way, it's here. You can disable it or if you want. I have no problem with that. I like to leave it on to help the... Uh, creators improve software okay then you have ignore some error statuses you have advisor unknown networks and there's just so much and you can reset all the default settings from there let's cancel we then have firewall settings which is what we went, got to from another screen before we can have automatic blah 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 there i've shown you that applications here allow block so you can allow and block various applications behind the firewall here so say we um Say 360 Total Security, which is another sort of similar program. Uh, I think uh, I'm not sure something my brother uses. Uh, basically, if you decide you don't want that program or whatever using the internet, you can block it. So the program will still run, but it will have no access to the internet. We then have file and printer uh, sharing, which is can be disabled from here. And let's have a look. That's about it, really. I think. Okay, this is the official website of AVG Internet Security. As you can see, there is a free trial available, and that is what I always recommend to all my viewers. Whenever there's a trial available of the software I'm reviewing, don't just take my word for it. Uh, use my video as a way to sort of see the program being used and see all the options. But then if there's a trial, download it yourself, use it yourself before you make the final judgment. So there is a free trial available from their website. It is Windows 10 compatible, in fact, this is Windows 10 that we're using right now. You can buy for $40 including uh, taxes. So it's £40 in the UK. Antivirus protection, link protection, no slowdowns, enhanced firewall, 24-7 uh, support. This compares the free antivirus program they do to the paid antivirus to internet security and what you get. So with the paid antivirus compared to free one, you get an online shield a data safe and more frequent updates with internet security which is the program i've just reviewed here you also get an anti-spam and shopping protection which is good the the free one is of course free then there's antivirus for 30 pounds or the full internet security for 40 pounds i'd recommend that if you're splashing out 30 pounds anyway for the antivirus you might want to go that little bit further don't bother with this one skip that and pay that a little bit more to get the full protection of internet security for 40 pounds New one subscription always up to date. It shows you a bit more about the various security options you get. Privacy protection such as a file shredder, data safe, identity protection, anti spamware, Wi Fi guard, no slowdowns, turbo scan, game mode, smart scanner. 
Game mode keeps scans and updates at bay while you play a game to avoid lag and freezes, which is really good. So if you play games a lot on your computer, if you've got a gaming system, I recommend you put it into that game mode. You use that and it will avoid any slowdowns, lagging, etc. in your video games. And that is about it. Let me just check out the price for you if you're in the US a minute. Okay, if you're in the US, it's $55. And if I just scroll down, the regular antivirus is $40 in the US or $55 for internet security. Okay, so do I recommend it? Yes, I do, because I've used quite a few uh, internet security programs or antivirus programs on Windows when I wasn't a Mac user and I was a Windows user, and so has my brother. Uh, and the one beginning with N, I won't name, that was always a problem for uh, both of us. It would lag out the computer. I don't know, maybe your experience is different, but for us, it would always lag out the computer. There was always slowdowns, and it would corrupt the Windows installation when you try to uninstall it. We haven't had that with AVG. There seems to be no slowdowns like they say on their website with AVG, and you can uninstall it if you need to. So I do recommend it. It's quick, it's seamless, it runs in the background. You can just sort of leave it. It automatically updates. You can schedule updates and schedule scans if you want. It has a firewall, email protection, web protection, and malware protection, antivirus protection. It has the whole nine yards, and it, there's no slowdowns. There's a game mode for when you're playing video games so you don't lag out. You can uninstall it if you need to. And it's just, in my opinion, the best internet security program it's not perhaps the main one the main one probably i would say is the one beginning at begin with n but i i personally would never recommend that one to you i never liked it always had uninstalled problems and slowdown problems i've never had that with avg so i do recommend avg internet security for windows but like I say, there is a trial available. I recommend you try it out first before you buy. And please like and comment on this video. And if you could do me a huge favor and subscribe to my YouTube channel because it will help me out a lot and it only take a few seconds. Thanks.